In the last vlog, we visited Florence and enjoyed some of the best food and gelato I've ever had. We then flew to Palermo, Sicily and had pizza and pasta that blew our minds. Sicily's food is like no other in Italy and everything I've heard about it is true. The people are passionate and love comes from the food. We walked through the markets and tried fresh pomegranate and blood orange juice. We had crispy arancina and some kind of potato and chickpea fritters that were simple yet flavorful. The fried food in Sicily is nothing like fried food in the US. It's not greasy and it's much lighter. We just ate and ate and ate. If you missed the video, I'll have it linked in the description below for you to watch after this one. This is part two of our Sicily adventure. We woke up early this morning because I scheduled a historic walking tour and it was amazing. Our guide shared so many stories of Palermo's history and walking through those same streets as the ones he was sharing was just so moving. It was quite the experience. I got emotional at one point uh, and then we laughed at other points. It was just an incredible, incredible day. I wanted to mention just a couple of things that was interesting to see, some things that I observed here in Sicily. One is men were not afraid to be affectionate with one another, to greet each other with a hug and a kiss and, you know, touch each other when conversing. It was very refreshing to see. Two, it's common to see like 12 year old kids riding motorcycles down the street. Three, everyone talks so much with their hands, even when they're on the phone and nobody's directly in front of them. It was very entertaining. I loved it. Four, people own washing machines in their homes, but not dryers. Their clothes dry outside on a clothesline. And lastly, the women's bathroom, they don't have toilet seats. It's really hard to find a bathroom in general, but yeah, I was told by a local woman that you stand over the toilet seat to pee and I was doing it all wrong the whole time apparently. But anyway, after a few hours of walking, it was time for lunch and Chris and I wanted to try more pizza, so we stopped at Biga. The variety of pizzas were placed out for display and you just told the worker which one you want and they heated up for you in the oven. This was a spicy salami and it tastes 10 times better than it looks, you guys. So, so good. We gave it a 9.5 out of 10. And the sparkling blood orange drink was my favorite. Uh, it was just fun to watch them in the window also to kind of shave the meat nice and fresh and stack it on the pizzas. Very entertaining. I did take a bite of Chris's pizza and it was very good, but I was really craving a meat and cheese board for my lunch. And of course the blood oranges cause they're to die for. Listen, if you like charcuterie boards, imagine what you're used to having and amp up the flavor times 10. Every bite I was saying, ooh, wow, this is so great. Sicilians take food seriously and almost everything is local, fresh, and strictly seasonal, which means the best ingredients. Then it was time for Granita, and this spot had the best reviews. I ordered the espresso flavor and Chris ordered the lemon. They tasted sweet and smooth and very refreshing. Next we saw the Fountain of Shame where the gods are naked and the Four Corners, which is an intersection of two major streets and four of the ancient quarters. We got to see the largest opera house, the Palatine Chapel, and all the major monuments. Before concluding our tour, we did have to stop and have a classic cannoli. Of course, it was served with an espresso, and believe it or not, the caffeine here didn't give me the jitters like it does back home. It's very rich and strong, but I can tolerate it better somehow. But yeah, these cannolis, by the way, are a 10 out of 10. Okay, so now that the tour is over, we stopped by Pandora to pick up a charm for my mother-in-law's bracelet. You know, the little Pandora bracelets and you can put all the little different charms. Yeah, while Chris was picking it out, I found a necklace I liked, so definitely had to get that as well. And I'll show you guys later what it looked like. 
We went back to the Airbnb to freshen up and rest for a little bit before heading back to do some more shopping. We had so much fun here. I was looking for a different pair of sunglasses, something that was shaped differently, something unlike anything of my usual style. I found these from Tiffany and I loved them, but I also liked this other pair. I couldn't decide between them, but I think I liked the way I felt in the first pair. It was definitely a vibe. Chris always has such a hard time finding a pair that he likes because I always pick ones that I think fit his face well and complement his features and he always picks ones that I don't like on him. He has great taste in clothes and shoes but in my opinion he needs a little guidance in this department. So he tried on at least 15 pairs of sunglasses and we both loved the two that he ended up purchasing. After shopping, we walked by a bakery that carries the most beautiful pastries. Look at these little guys. They're marzipan based and they're hand painted to look like fresh fruit. And they just had a huge variety. They were so beautiful. The detailing is immaculate and I just had to get one to taste. They also offered a huge selection of other desserts, but at this point we were both sugared out. Such a perfect day. We're walking back to our Airbnb. It's our last night in Palermo and we need to wash clothes. So we washed them and hung them to dry on the balcony and headed to bed. Good morning. We got up at 4 a.m. to catch this seven o'clock train to Taramina. The granita that I had that was coffee flavored had so much coffee in it, duh. I was wide awake all night long, so I slept for about an hour and a half, and I'm so tired. We just got done packing. All right, it's six o'clock and we should be leaving, but I wanted to try these little fruits. So the paper isn't edible. How gorgeous though, right? The detailing and it feels like an orange. It's really dense. It has a consistency of sugar cookie dough. If you were to roll it in a ball and pack it really tight, it's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. That's okay. Chris got the lemon. All right, we gotta go. We're lugging our luggage 15 minutes down the road to the train station on the cobblestone, dragging everything. It can be difficult. Bye, Cicely. I don't wanna go. <laughs> Yeah, we were both really sad to leave. We loved Florence for sure, but Sicily had something we didn't see anywhere else we visited in Italy. It felt like it could be home one day. It felt special in so many ways. What an experience to eat my breakfast on a high-speed train and look out the window and daydream about a possible future here. It was quiet and relaxing, the perfect scenery for daydreaming. We arrived at Taramina's train station and I had to use the ladies' room, but I saw that you have to pay first apparently, and it just cost one euro. Our Airbnb was only five minutes away and look at this view you guys. These apartments or condos, whatever they are, are built into the cliff which is right by the sea 
It was the most perfect location to soak up some sun and relax outdoors. Our Airbnb host was a Monica Geller from the show Friends. She had snack cakes available on the table along with bottles of water, and she even put a map out to the city to help guide us to all the points of interest. There was a full kitchen available, a living room which had more snacks, and get this, a binder with laminated pages of information. She had everything from emergency contacts, taxi numbers, restaurant menus, bakery menus, brochures to activities and water sports. It was endless. Definitely a Monica Geller. Chris was already outside enjoying his cigar, soaking up the view. Here's a quick look at the bathroom. I loved how she left us robes, soaps, shower gels, and even soft slippers. And here's a look at the bedroom. The bed was so comfortable. Okay, we're about to go eat and when we come back, we plan to get into the hot tub, but something unexpected happened and things take a turn for the worst. We accidentally found this tourist trap of a restaurant and oh my goodness was the food awful. We ordered the seafood platter and received the fishiest clams I have ever had, an octopus salad which was okay and a tuna tartare, a pizza that tastes like a frozen one, and salad and spaghetti with meatballs. Terrible, terrible quality. After lunch, I started to feel hot and my ears were aching really bad. I was trying to focus on the beautiful surroundings, the shops, the lovely smells. And to my surprise, we just ran into the famous Nove. This place is a pistachio lover's paradise. I started to feel a little better at this point. Pistachio cannolis, cakes, pastries, granita. I ordered the pistachio, of course, and Chris ordered the chocolate. The texture and the consistency was so velvety. It was my favorite. And they even had pistachio pasta, sauces, oils. It was endless. And then of course we kept walking and we found the bomb bar, but it was closed. We didn't get to go in and try their famous granita. So yeah. Suddenly, I started to feel really bad. I had fluid in my ears, so I think I got a sinus infection. I needed to go back and just get some sleep for a while because I started to feel very weak and I couldn't walk anymore. So we arrived at our Airbnb and when I woke up from my 4 p.m. nap, I realized it was 14 hours later. We only had one day to spend in Taormina and then we had to head back to the train station to get to Rome. I had absolutely no energy, aching ears, and I felt bad that we missed out on the hot tub and enjoying our balcony view. Ugh, the guilt was killing me. On top of that, because I didn't have energy, we just went straight to the airport and I spent eight hours waiting for our flight. We ate and drank sandwiches and had a few snacks, and we spent our time in the lounge of the Catania airport. We had to fly out of Catania to get to Rome to then get back home. We spent the night in Rome, then headed to the last airport of our trip. Thank goodness, we only had a couple hours of sleep, so I was just really not feeling well. Uh, but Rome has all of the high-end shops. I have always wanted a YSL belt, and since it was half the price here, you know I had to buy it. We quickly purchased more chocolates for the flight crew, then boarded the plane. I think Chris was so sick of my crap at this point. <laughs> because I was being a little bit goofy and he was like, just sit down. 
I was so exhausted and trying to make the best of our last day, but man, was I happy to be in a comfortable seat being served a glass of champagne, okay? We didn't pre-order our lunch, so I took a look at the menu and decided on the slow-cooked beef with an ice cream sundae for dessert and the Thai noodle salad for my mid-flight snack. Then I immediately adjusted my seat and rested my eyes because they were burning until it was time for the flight crew to deliver the hot towel service right before mealtime. First, we were served a warm dish of mixed nuts along with two salads. Both were light and refreshing, but I especially enjoyed the carrot salad and the warmed multi-grain dinner roll. The beef was very tender and the potatoes were creamy and full of flavor and the slice of pumpkin was my favorite thing on here. It was cooked to perfection and really well seasoned, uh, but the spinach unfortunately was overcooked and mushy so I skipped that one. The flight attendant asked me if I would like hot fudge, caramel, mixed berries, or nuts on my ice cream sundae. And I looked at her and I said, yes, all of it, please. <laughs> she just giggled to me and said, yep, you got it. It was so good. And when I finished it, she came back and asked me if I would like another one. That is great service if you ask me. I wish I had room for another one because it was fantastic. All right, I dimmed my windows and it's time to sleep now. We had a total time of nine and a half hours for this flight and I was still tired from the day prior. All right, I'm feeling rested. We're about two hours from landing and it's time for our next meal. They called this a snack, but to me, this is a meal. The Thai salad came with a fruit bowl, breadsticks, and a fruit cheesecake in a prepackaged container. Chris is showing what he ordered, which is the chicken pot pie served with some cheesy chips, a fruit bowl, and that same prepackaged cheesecake. This is what it looked like and it was a three out of 10 for me, but the rest of the meal was very good. I decided to put on a movie to pass the time and chose something Marvel. It was one of the really bad Marvel movies. Marvel used to be so good. I'm so happy to be home. I can't wait to see the dogs. I'm so excited. Hi, I'm Maxwell. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us to Italy. I feel incredibly blessed to be able to have and to share this experience. I'll see you in the next video.